It's Wednesday, so it's time to look at some DeFi charts, DeFi coins. First, let's talk about Bitcoin dominance and historically what that has meant for altcoins. So I have here the fill being the 200-day EMA for dominance, the line being the 50 EMA, using basic principles of any technical analysis, moving average, bull bear cross. We had alt season from June to end of October. BTC broke above dominance, broke above that 200-day moving average, and we're soon to get a bullish cross here. So overall, this is projecting Bitcoin strength, altcoin weakness, altcoin weakness, including DeFi coins. And for this specific calculation, perhaps mainly DeFi coins at this point in time. So I've still got no bullish news for DeFi. I don't think DeFi sells off during the entirety of Bitcoin strength. I think they can move together, but it is highly unlikely that they will move with equal ferocity and magnitude. BTC will suck all of the liquidity for the most part out of the room, leaving many DeFi projects in the dust. If we also look at a different type of index, the DeFi perpetual futures on FTX, the rise and fall has been pretty clear here in that currently we're posting continuous lows day over day. You can see that the bear trend is certainly hastening here on the six hour chart with a bit of a falling wedge bullish divergence here. So it'll be interesting if the weakening momentum, weakening bearish momentum in this indice, index, indice, can foreshadow, predict some DeFi strength in the near term. For the most part, many of the coins I'm about to show you are pushing all time lows. So that for me isn't usually a buy unless there's some strong evidence of something going on in the future, but multiple coins in an index pushing all-time lows will push the index further to the downside. No shocker there. Starting with Link, which probably looks the safest among them, the market leader in DeFi, it remains above the 200-day moving average. It remains inside of the multi-year pitchfork. Really no risk of this changing until sub-750. If this gets sub 750, then it's time to get concerned for Link, but I don't think DeFi is going to drag Link Link down below 750, below five. I don't, I don't just don't see it happening, really. I mean, the trend is your friend until the end, and it, I don't think it's near the end yet for Link. Now, I wouldn't say this is a strong buy. I wouldn't say this is a strong bullish trend. I just think it's a little too early to get bearish on Link compared to stuff like Ave Land, where on the hourly, there isn't even a bullish divergence yet. This is not really an all-time low, but for this specific ticker refresh transition, it's an all-time low. You can see all of the volume on the way up that it's going to have to fight. I'm not saying it can't, just saying this is going to be the, the story going forward. There's a lot of upside volume here. A lot of people who either bought and want to get out of break even, who haven't panicked yet, or people who sold and want to sell more <laughs> on the way up. So this is not bullish by any means. Now this is the hourly. It can quickly change as any low time frame can, but I said that last week. I probably said that the week before. There really hasn't been, I mean, it's tried to mean revert, denied. It probably will try again. It probably will get denied again. Just no bull, no strength there. Uni, oof, just nothing but lower low after lower low. No div here whatsoever. This is effectively an all-time low. Again, all this upside volume is just waiting. It's waiting for a revisit of 354 to just sell even more. <laughs> Especially when people see lows on the chart. As it rises up again, I think, psychologically. This can't go higher. I need to sell. It was down to sub two it's at three 350 now just that's my perspective on how most people would see this now you can see this is clearly hastening if anything this is a parabolic bear trend so you could easily draw some diagonal lines here to sort of predict where the end would be once the uh, trend begins to slow it's usually a sign of bearish momentum being over 
so this should continue to hasten to the downside until there's some sort of exhaustion. SNX talked about it for weeks, had this falling wedge bounce on the 200. Now it looked like it is attempting to break to the downside. The bullish divergence has been canceled. The 5200 cross is starting to flip bearish over the next few days. So at this point, for me, I'd want to wait for a reset like there was here. There was a bear cross. Bull cross was dead on the money. People like to hate on the crosses and say they're lagging, which they can be at times. But when they're not lagging, oh man, are they just perfect, right? Like, look at this. Look at this entry. So if we get that cross recross again, to me, that's a decent sign for upside. Trend has obviously been bearish over the past few weeks here. I don't think this is at risk for a mega long-term bear trend just yet. UMA also pushing lows. Bit of a bullish divergence here growing. Lower lows in price, higher lows in RSI. But again, you've got all of this upside volume you're going to be knocking into. Let's say you're long here and confidently bullish. It's hard to be certain that this will break 10 again with the current price structure and the current volume profile. So it's got a lot of time and any bullish momentum there, in my opinion. Looking at Wi-Fi, what a beautiful descend, descent it has been. First we had the head and shoulders breakdown. Then we had the descending triangle breakdown. 8.3 was the low, the wick low. Pretty close to 1618 and definitely inside of the support zone for the descending triangle. Still no signs really of bullishness here. You could argue the beginnings of a bullish divergence on higher time frames. Volume continues to decline slightly. But overall, there's really nothing bullish here. I said on Twitter the other day there was the beginnings of an Adam and Eve and that quickly got canceled for lower lows. So there's really nothing here yet to be bullish about. Comp, all-time low, no bull div, doesn't look good. Looks like it wants lower lows. And again, the upside is just full of volume that it's going to have to fight through before anything bullish starts. Arguably a bit of a parabolic downside here as well. So it, the cloud looked okay here. I think last week I said trend flip neutral, but that got canceled quite quickly. Ran on the 12-hour. Still holding that bull cross. Probably won't much longer. Definitely more of the neutral territory as far as the trend is concerned. You can see it doesn't look like it's going to push higher highs anytime soon here. Definitely a stay out for now for me. Serum, all-time lows, no bull div. Just looks ugly. Again, looking parabolic to the downside. Just doesn't look great. It's had several attempts at mean reversion that have just been smacked down, smacked down. So until this flips 5200 uh, bullish again. There's really no reason to think this is gonna turn around anytime soon. Band decidedly bearish now here. It's been in a bit of a multi-month bear move that went sideways had an, had an attempt at an inverted head and shoulders up there but right now it's just uh, hasn't been able to muster anything. It's hitting this previous consolidation zone here with its subtle bullish divergence Volume continues to decline, beginning to signal weakening bearish momentum here. For me, I'd still like to see a little bit more something here for the bull side. Either volume, a nice candle to the upside, something. Because right now it just, just looks like down with more down. And in the land of DeFi, everything being bearish, it's hard to stand out as an individual unless you're extremely bullish because everyone's just going to assume, oh, it's DeFi, it's bearish, I'm selling it or I'm not buying it. Just plain and simple. Sushi, again, more all-time lows here. More thick volume profile to the upside. People are going to continue to sell the crap out of this. That's just my read on it. No buy there at all. Dot, sideways, neutral, untradable, garbled mess. You can see the big VPVR profile here. Maybe 420 is a fair price here, as the VPVR would say. Stuck between these two volume nodes here. I think it needs it just needs more time. I've said this last video, I think, but it's got a lot of locked and unlocked coins that are going to be sloshing around. So it's going to it's going to need some time to figure out what price the market sets it at as far as fair value is concerned. So that's all I have for this week. Did you 
Did you hear anything that was a surprise? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments below and happy trading.